Okay, so this is going to be a quick walkthrough on the editor side of Square Online. As you can see in the top left here, we are on the Online tab. If you are at the Home dashboard, it'll be the icon that looks like that, or it may be down here on your list. If you have not started your website yet, then going to this tab, you're going to have a setup guide. As you can tell here, it's already completed. There's some cool things on this dashboard, page views, sales, and then you can do things to help grow your business. If you have not yet published your site, this won't be here like this. It'll be a little bit different. There are website options here that are important to keep in mind. There are item options. This will take you to a different section. It'll take you back to the items section. Fulfillment is one that you're going to need to make sure you have filled out if you're doing an e-commerce store. Pickup and delivery for food, for anything, really. Your shipping, that's a great section that we'll get into in the dashboard. Your reporting. Marketing is a good tab. We'll get into in another section. Communications, that's going to be your text alerts and messengers, abandoned cart sequence. Here's where you can integrate with your other platforms. They have an editor studio here. It's it's decent. Um, what's great is it's in, in the system, so you can quickly do that. Uh, here's all your other apps, and then there's settings. This section down here is going to be part of the initial starting your website part, portion. So that's all there. Okay, so let's get into editing the site. We're going to do one basic section here for packages. So as you can see now we are in the site editor. This is how you get out of the editor. This is how you choose the page that you're going to be editing. If you see here, these are the standard pages. So we have our home page, our body sculpting, our policies, our facials, body therapy about us. Each one of these pages has the ability to make it your home page. Our home page is our home page. <laughs> you also have these three little dots. In the three little dots, you get to view the page settings or you can duplicate your page. In page settings, you have the name, you have the page URL. Since this is our home page, that's what the URL is going to be. You can make them private, the pages. So if you have a community that has to pay to get resources, that's where you can make this private. And in that process, you can select based on packages that they pay for, who they are, what their membership status is, and we can get into that in a different one. SEO, this is going to be important for you in labeling some of the pages to make sure that Google knows what you do. These page descriptions are important. Normally, on the home page, it's a business description. Each one of the services will then have their description as well. If it's something that you don't want to have visible in the search engine, then you can select that here, your social share. So if you ever type in to any of your social media that you want to share a link, it's going to pop up with a preview of the link. This is what that preview is going to be. So as you can tell here, we don't have any social image. So let's go ahead and add the logo. Let's not go ahead and add the logo because I don't, this is my new computer and I don't have their logo on saved in my drive. As you can see, the social page description is the same thing and you can make it the same as your SEO page if you would like. Okay. So the category pages, appointments, shop all, and here's all of your categories. We don't sell items for this client, but here's where your items pages would be, and your story pages. If you want to edit the navigational menu that's here, 
you can click down here on the bottom. That's going to decide what's up here. Body sculpting, body therapy, facials, policies, etc. We don't need the policies to be up on the header there, so we can remove it from the navigation link. If we want to edit the name of it there, we can do that. Well, let's remove the policies from the top. And let's remove gift cards from the top. And let's remove home from the top. Because this is a home button. Okay, so there's our navigational links. As you can see, now we are in the header. Since we clicked on the header, let's back out of this here. Okay. So now that we're just on the page, so let's say we were looking for a specific page and we're going to do the home page, but let's click on home. As you can see here, you have every section that we created and put already put in there. We want to add a new section that has to do with our body sculpting packages. Okay, so this is going to give you some recommendations, featured items, featured category, donation, events, memberships, all of that. So this is what can be there. This, um, as far as what you can sell, your organized feature. This is basically should be labeled general, but this is how you add general information. So since we're going to do a list. best one that we're going to be able to use looking at these if we had images for each one of the packages that we're going to add we would do text and image but we're just going to do text as you can see there's two options for how text is displayed so we're going to click this one here okay we're going to add the section now that we've added the section here we have a lot of different options and what we can do we can do columns, right? So there's a column and there's going to be another column. We can leave it as one. We can do an alignment of the text. We then can go into color style. And I can change it. Okay. Square keeps everything simple. So that way you don't have to manipulate. They go by formatting. It makes it really easy when it goes to mobilization as well. So you can now add groups all underneath that header. Right. And then you have multiple lines of text. So where it says quality craftsmanship, we could put something like body sculpting if we can spell okay and then we can have this section here go let's just do the lipo one there Let's do this one. So I copy and pasted that from my data sheet to here. So that's there. Now, when we click on this here, you can see the content manager. We can add the title, boom. We can add the text. And you can add a link to learn more about it or whatever you wanted that link to be. You can manipulate that here. So if you wanted it to be purchase now, you can do that. You can add a link to the appointments, the booking pop-up, or the list page. So if you wanted to take it to the page, you could take it to the page. If you wanted to do the pop-up, it would pop up in here. And it's going to be 
the location is beauty is you because that's the, the standard location. It's not any other location. Um, would not do open link in a new tab. We want to keep everybody on the same page. So that way any of that movement may make a customer not feel safe and secure and trust the site so they'll bounce. So that's where we would want that to go. That's what purchase wrong. I did. Good. Thanks for telling me. Okay, so this title here is six. Um, maybe let's just do column bean wood sculpt sculpting and R F. So you see how that can be there. Now, what's great is that you can actually duplicate the sections. So once you have one, you can go ahead and copy it. And when you do that, now you can get into editing the, the second one and changing those. And you can continue down. Now, what is great about this is that once we select this section, we can actually say we're done. We can actually take this one. You can rename it if you want. Um, I lied. You're not able to rename these. You can duplicate the section. So we've put this on the homepage, the body sculpting packages. Now, in theory, we have 15 body sculpting packages we want to add. So we can add all 15 here. We can format it. We can make it look how we would like it to look. Then we can duplicate it. So we'd have a second one. Oops. We'd have a second one here. Now we can actually move it to another page. So since this is in body, body sculpting, we can move it to our, since these are the packages that have to do with body sculpting, we can move this whole body sculpting package or this whole body sculpting section to the body sculpting page. So now that's here after we put in all that work, we can just duplicate that and put it on to another page. So if we went to home, we went to body sculpting, you would see here, it's up on the top. Okay. We are on the page of body sculpting. So there isn't a main banner, but we should add one. And then we can customize that main banner by clicking on the main banner where we can add an image. It's hoping for, let's do this here. All right, so there's a background image there. And then you can manipulate the headline text. You can add sections, remove sections, add another button. Add a sub label. Okay. You can customize the whole page here, layout and color. I apologize, not the page, the section. I meant to say section. And you can change it. It's an image now, but if we want to do a custom color, we can do a background. You wouldn't be able to see that until we remove the image. So let's go to content. Let's go to image. Let's remove the image. See how that color is there. And then you have your body sculpting packages there. When you get into this section, site design, so if we want to change the colors of the site, you can see here we have the ability to add our style guide and our custom colors that we want to keep everything on brand. Here's where you can add all those. This is where you're going to add your hex code of the color, 
right? So if we want to add black, there's the black that we use, right? We can add anything that we'd like there, and that'll give us the ability to customize all these colors at another time. This is where you can select your font. You can add fonts to here. So go into Google Font if we have a different font in our style guide than what is available. As the defaults on Square, we can add our fonts here. And we can customize our buttons. Sharp, rounded, pill. Square does a great job of making everything simple. So once you go into site design and you customize this portion, you theoretically don't have to do much anywhere else on the site. It all falls in place. That brings you back to the dashboard.